it always was you guys had the direct pipeline to every DJ in America, but your your service provided music to DJs globally. No matter where I travel to, if I'm talking to people about online streaming services, they mention DigiWax. Yeah. Talk to me, because you guys literally broke the artist's mems. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me about that process. And then more important, why did you guys not, because you were perfectly set up to become a, a, a full-scale record label. Mm. Why did you not become a, a, a label? Well, two things. Uh, I think on the label end, I think we sort of caught Mission Drift, to be completely honest. Okay. There was just so much going on at that time. Um, and I think that we, I, A, we just didn't, we just didn't have our mind focused on that at the time. We still wanted to just promote and not really get away from that because I had a staff of people that I was like, you know what, let's just, we're still doing promotion and stuff. Hindsight, we probably should have started a label to be completely real about it. And it's not too late. Um, no, it's not too late. Actually, it's more in your favor today than it's ever been because, you know, everything is about streaming and getting your music into the hands of the DJ. Nothing's changed. Yeah, man. And, and it's the same grind in terms of like what, what broke Mims was part, a large part was Digiwax. The, 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 the fact that the record was getting to so many DJs internationally or the music was, and then we were actually taking the time to follow up and call each single DJ that was in our, you know, that, that actually responded and downloaded the record. See, that was the grind part that 90% of our clients never did. They were just satisfied with getting the music to them. If you actually picked up the phone and followed up with them, hey, nice to meet you. I see you downloaded my record. I want to say thank you. I see you didn't like it, but why? And start off that conversation or, you know, how can I help you help me make the record bigger in your city? You know, DJs are why they First of all, they just humbled and honored that you even took the time to reach out to them and say thank you. Whether, whether they liked it or didn't, just if you do that. And we made so many connections through that, it started to just bubble and bubble and, and it really didn't start with it. Remember we talk about the DJs that are big that you know you have to give six pieces of vinyl to. It wasn't those DJs. It was the DJs that opened up for the big DJ. We didn't focus, our strategy was never to focus on the superstar DJ because if you make it big in the club before they get on, at some point they're gonna have to play that record versus where if you give it to them first and they don't like it or they don't, you know, a lot of ego that goes into this game too. Um, sometimes you just knock the ego down because, you know, the record's just like, yo, play this. Sometimes it's a work record. And I always felt like the the, the, the opening DJs, the younger DJs, the DJs coming up, they were, they're more in tune to breaking new music and playing new records. They have the time to do it. Their platforms are dedicated to it. Show them the love, you know, give them the little promotional item. Give them the love and they'll, 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 it will reciprocate. Um, but yeah, it took, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of dedication and the formula is, it, it's not really a formula. It's about just working and following up. It's really no formula to it. It's working and following up. We broke in so many acts. Even after that two pistols, we got a deal. Jason DeRulo blew up after that, after what we uh, helped do for him. Um, you know, even recently, we had an uh, artist wish we got signed to Jive. Um, the record I'm working now, me and DJ Webstar doing, he's now doing a partnership with, with I, I don't want to blow it up, but with a super duper producer, EDM producer right now, that's, I feel is going to lead to a new sound in music. Um, and, and it's going to be the promotion and the way we, we actually produce, uh, advertise these things that are just going to, you know, make a mainstream. And we are going to do it digitally. You know, I, I look at, you know, a year ago or a year and a half ago, you know, everybody was talking streaming, streaming, streaming. And that became the focus, you know, got to get Spotify, got to get on these playlists, we got to get Apple Music, got to get on these playlists, playlists and title and so on. And it's so funny because now when we talk strategy, our first step now is, man, maybe we should just do a TikTok campaign, you know, or maybe we should start off with a, a Triller campaign, which is 
the newer version of TikTok that's coming up. Um, you know, the strategy that we use that even goes to uh, 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 um, some of the blockchain stuff that's out here and what, what's happening in that space and how that's starting to transpire into mainstream um, world. But staying up on technology is definitely been our advantage over the years. Uh, understanding the future that, like you said, these things are going to come, these platforms are going to build no matter what we do. You got to get into the right circles. You know, we're on platforms like Crypto Mondays every Monday, um, listening in to that group of, of technology people. There are music technology groups on Meetup um, that I encourage everybody to get a part of because people are building things that are incredibly advantageous to, to your artists or to you if you're an artist to your career. Um, recently, there's a surge in, in Twitch, Twitch for artists. So Twitch is the yep. video game platform. Now artists are performing on there and getting donations, getting paid. I mean, if, 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 if my memory serves me right, you know, YBN, um, Almighty J and Corday, um, you know, they broke out of Twitch, um, taking advantage of that platform, that gaming platform. That's um, right. But I love some of the things that you were saying, and I don't want people to miss this because it it's just gems on top of gems. Like everybody, I don't care what it is that you're doing. You 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 spoke about you know essentially, and I put it in my words because it's the way I always say that. Love those who love you back. You know yeah. you don't have to. You know if it, let's we're talking records. So what if Funk Flex doesn't play your record or, or DJ Clue doesn't play your record? But if the DJs who are opening for them, who don't have that big name yet, those are the DJs they rely on to tell them what's next that they should be playing. That's right. If those DJs are embracing you, those are the DJs you should be embracing. Those are the DJs that you should have your um, your artists calling directly. What can I do for you? Is there a drop? Can I do a special edit of my song and throw your name in it? Um, just whatever can be done, whatever your product, whatever your service, whoever latches onto it, love those who love you back because that's where you're going to build your core audience and they're going to be the ones who become your personalized brand ambassadors who go out and tell everybody you need to be using this product or you need to be listening to this artist or you need to be using this service, so forth and so on. Stop worrying about always getting the person who is the biggest on or, 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 or at the top of the totem pole to recognize what you're doing. It doesn't work like that. That's right. That person is going to embrace you when everybody else says that this right here, this is the heat. You need to be on it. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. So yeah, I, I um pride myself on that, man, because I never ever came up like that. You know, it was always finding the talent and like you said, just showing love to people that accepted the opportunity, man. They was humble about it, it was willing to work and and it, and it, everybody else comes around, you know, after a while. But yeah, man, you can't wait on nobody, man. If 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 one won't won't do it, then somebody else will, you know. So you gotta stay at it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.